when the Punisher speaks, when the Punisher has something to say, Terrence is going to listen. Welcome to the channel, human. Click that subscribe button. John Bernthal killed it as Frank Castle slash the Punisher. When I saw him in The Walking Dead, the moments in which his character Shane, which is one of my favorite characters in that universe, when he got mad, I said to myself, this dude could play the Punisher. He would make a nice Punisher. Scene transition, I wasn't the only one thinking that shit. Because he showed up in Daredevil Season 2, if I'm not mistaken. When Daredevil was on Netflix, and then everybody loved him so much, they gave him his own show. So John Bernthal said that everyone has some Frank Castle in them. The idea that you can't stand evil, you can't stand cruelty. And the fact that you just would love to just kill a motherfucker, to take him out. But you know that's not the right thing to do. That's against the law. Being a vigilante. Vigilantism. Whatever you want to call it. You're not supposed to take the law into your own hands. But frankly... If we had a Punisher in real life, if we had a Punisher in every major city in the world, this world would be better. Humans would be scared to act like fucking fools because then the Punisher would take care of their ass. Not lock them up, not beat them up, dead, done, over. Being violent, being cruel, being a piece of shit, being an asshole. Doing wrong to others is a fucking choice. No excuses. It is a fucking choice. So you hear a lot of humans all the time say stuff like, Oh, if that were me. Or, Oh, I wish I could do something to this person. Oh, I would do this to this person. But for whatever reason, they don't. So I understand what John Bernthal was talking about. There's a little bit of Frank Castle in all of us. But I think that there are plenty of humans to where if they were in the right circumstances, they would absolutely be like a Punisher-like individual. But most humans, they talk a big game. They sound tough. They pretend to be tough. When they are going through emotional pain, they say the craziest shit that we know they're not going to follow through on. You see, most humans are weak. Talking and joking is their defense mechanism. Talking about all the horrible and violent things. Oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I would do this. Or just you wait, I'm going to do this. They don't end up doing jack shit. Because they ain't got the spine for it. They ain't going to do that. They could be justified in certain situations, and most humans still wouldn't do that. But there are plenty that would. There are plenty that have. You see, the cops, they're supposed to follow the laws, right? Arrest them. Take them in for questioning. You know, they might take somebody out out of self-defense or to protect others. And then, of course, you have corrupt cops, but that's a whole other thing. I mean, when you're dealing with humans, you ain't going to have no perfection. I mean, humans are fucking terrible. They're going to do all kinds of horrible things. But John Bernthal loves the Punisher character. As do I. I think he's one of the coolest Marvel characters, period. I would rather read the Punisher over the fucking Hulk or Captain America or Spider-Man. To me, the Punisher's better than those characters. His storylines are more compelling. They're deeper. If you're someone that has a lot of anger and rage inside, or if you can't stand the fucking trash that is society, you understand certain aspects of Frank Castle, of Punisher. We all know right from wrong. We all know what you should and should not do and say. But the Punisher, based upon what happened to him, he decided to handle the bad guys in a very special way. You're bad, you're evil, 
you're dead as fuck. Punisher is going to kill your ass. And everybody's going to find out that you got taken out by the Punisher. So I understand what he was talking about. To me, humans are fucking terrible. I don't even like humans. I have some friends, but I'm just saying, I don't even like humans like that. So then when you talk about the bad ones, the horrible human beings, shit. Ain't no such thing as karma. You know like how you got these goofy humans out here talking about karma? Ain't no fucking karma. Shit don't work that way in reality. That's some fairy tale shit. You know how many bad motherfuckers exist in the world that haven't been caught? That will never be caught? Or never receive the punishment that they deserve? Do you know how that is? Because reality is not the same as fiction. Reality, humans get away with shit. There are secrets, things that you will never find out. There are so many bad humans in the world. You take out one or two, you lock one or two up, there's going to be so many more out there. The problem is humanity as a whole. These fucking animals have decided to be cruel to one another. That's why it would be good if we had a Punisher in real life. But you know what though? Punisher can exist in real life. You know why? Because Punisher is a fantastical character. This man has speed and strength that's not normal for human beings in real life. He has skills and abilities that are not normal for human beings in real life. There is no real life equivalent of the Punisher. No matter who you point out, they will always fall shorter than Frank Castle. It's just not going to happen. Humans try to do that all the time. Oh, this is the real life equivalent of this comic book character and that character. No, it's not. Not even close. Not in most instances anyway. The more fantastical the comic book character, the less likely that you will have a real life equivalent. Most of the time that would not be the case. So no matter what you are thinking and feeling about what I said, whether you agree with the idea that bad and evil should be taken out indefinitely, or you're just like, nah, I would never do that. I just, I would think about it, but I would never do that. And I don't condone violence in reality. You should not ever take the law into your own hands. You shouldn't do anything bad. But I understand what Mr. Bernthal was saying about how there's a little Frank Castle in all of us. And this is a very important thing to discuss that a lot of humans are afraid. They're afraid to talk about it. They don't have the spine to talk about it. They'll pussyfoot around the details. And they won't really tell you how they feel. Because humans are deceptive. They're liars. They want to look good in front of others. They care about what others think. I don't care about what any humans think. That's why I'm so free. I can do and say whatever the fuck I want and not bat an eye. Because I don't live my life based upon whether humans like me or not. Fuck a human. Give a damn about no damn human like that. Fuck you mean. The Punisher is a fascinating character. I've enjoyed the portrayals of him in live action. And I want to see more of John Bernthal as the Punisher. If he is in the context of the MCU, I hope that he still stays true to what he's supposed to be. You can have all these other kitty pussy ass characters running around, but the Punisher better not be kitty and pussy like. He better be the Punisher. Otherwise, I don't want to see him. But John Bernthal has already said he will only agree to be the Punisher in the MCU if... They do his character properly. And I love that he loves the character and respects the character so much. That's refreshing. None of this, oh, I'll just do it because they gave me some money like a little bitch. Like you ain't got no fucking integrity and shit. John Bernthal is serious. You know, you're going to put some respect on this character that I play. Because I'm a fan of the character. And there are plenty of fans of the Punisher that want to see him done properly. But yeah, shout out to John Bernthal for bringing up something 
so deep, something so thought-provoking, something so serious. Murder is wrong, obviously. Whether you're doing it for a good reason or a bad reason, murder is murder and you shouldn't do it. But that don't change the fact that a lot of humans, they got some Frank Castle in them. And only so many of them are going to admit to that. Because again, humans care about what other humans think. Whether it's their friends, their family, their sexual partner, someone that they want to have in their lives. They're careful about the steps they take. Fake motherfuckers. But the real ones? Oh yeah. They'll let you know right right away. Straight away. They're going to keep it a buck and they're going to let you know like, yeah, I got a little Frank Castle in me. I would never act on it, but it's there based upon thoughts. You see, humans focus on actions a lot, but I focus on thoughts just as much as action. What a human thinks or what a human thought at any point is very important for you understanding who that human being actually is. And then, of course, actions in the moment, right? Because humans could think certain things. They can talk a certain way. But in the moment of truth, maybe that person's a bitch. Or maybe that person has all the courage in the world. Whatever it may be, I think that more often than not, Humans have a little Frank Castle in them. Terrence out.